Okay, now what we're going to look at is endotube cuff pressure measurements. As we know, endotubes have a inflatable cuff at the end of their tubes. This allows us to inflate it to seal off the trachea so we don't lose volume or aspirate secretions. If this tube is the trachea, the cuff goes down and we inject air into the pilot balloon which then fills the cuff and prevents air from escaping up or GI and other secretions from leaking down into the lungs. So what we want to do is make sure this pressure is not too great because that will cause necrosis, dilation, and death of tracheal tissue. So let's take a look at how we do that. First off, we have to have a cuff manometer. You've seen a close-up of this in the lesson. And this is nothing more than a manometer gauge and syringe and a one-way valve. And this one-way valve is called a stopcock. Together it allows us to check the pressure of the endotube cuff. Each endotube has a pilot balloon. We connect the cuff manometer by way of the stopcock to the pilot balloon. But first we want to pressurize the pilot, the uh, tubing and the manometer. So we're going to close off the outlet on the stopcock to the off so now that when we inject any pressure it'll fill the tubing and the manometer gauge and we pre-pressurize to about 18. Now that allows us to connect to the pilot balloon without loss of volume and pressure that's filling the cuff of the patient. Now we have it connected to the pilot balloon, we turn the stopcock to the fully on position so that all positions are on as demonstrated in the lesson. From that we can check the pressure of the cuff and make sure that that's less than 25 to 30 centimeters water pressure and also we take a listen with a stethoscope on the trachea to make sure we're not leaking air on each mechanical breath. If there is a leak, we inject a little bit of volume and we check the pressure of the cuff and making sure that we use as little pressure to fill the cuff of the endotube to seal off any leaks. As we saw in the lesson, there's three different ways of doing cuff pressure. That's MOP, minimum occluding pressure, MOV, minimum occluding volume, and minimum leak technique. 